Time to take your best shot. This Saturday is the first annual Sporting Clay Shoot hosted by the South Carolina Governor's School for Agriculture and benefiting the John De La Howe Foundation. We have Stacy Smith. She's the executive director of the foundation, and she has all of the info this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Nice to have you here. Um, so let's talk about this. This is the first event. Uh, what's happening? So this Saturday, we're having our first fundraiser for the foundation. The foundation exists exclusively to support the students and the staff and the mission of the school. And we will be at the National Wild Turkey Federation Palmetto Shooting Complex in Edgefield, South Carolina this Saturday. And uh, so now we'll be doing the, the clay shooting and there's a lot of things that are involved with the actual event, correct? So at 3 p.m. is our clay shooting event. You can shoot as an individual or as a member of a team of four. Mm -hmm. And at 6 o'clock is our dinner and banquet, which includes a live auction and a silent auction. All right. Okay, let's talk more about the foundation and how it supports the school. So the foundation is a nonprofit entity. Um, the John Delahouse School Foundation has existed um, since the school began as a new governor's school and we are working to support the events and things that the students need. Um, right now we have a focus for this event on the high school shotgun team and the environmental and natural resource program. So that'll be our focus for the fundraiser. And you said again, this is gonna be at the uh, National Wild Turkey Palmetto Complex. That whole area out there uh, houses a number of different things. And the, the school itself, uh, School for Agriculture, uh, what all does that entail? So we are the only residential high school in the nation. We are teaching 10th, 11th, and 12th graders um, in a residential setting about agriculture and how they can um, be better prepared to go into careers in agriculture. We have four curriculum paths. That would be horticulture, plant and animal science, the environmental and natural resource program, and the agricultural mechanics and technology curriculum. So a lot of diversity, a lot of opportunities for our students there. You, you don't see the schools like that a lot anymore. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did an event like this, how did the idea come about to host it? This is the first one. So the coach for our shotgun team um, approached me about wanting to do this in collaboration with our educator um, for the Environmental Natural Resource Program. They have some things that they need. Um, the you know, our school doesn't really have football and basketball and track. We have some unusual <laughs> sports and activities, I suppose. So we have a field and trial team. We have a fishing team. Um, you know, everything we do there is focused on agriculture. The students who attend can participate in more traditional sports through a partnership with our local school district, however. Um, but, you know, this event is just to support the, um, you know, extracurricular activities that they're doing through the shotgun team. And, um, you know, we look for an exciting time. You, you mentioned the words unique. Um, and you, like you said, this is one of the only schools in, in the nation. How important is it to continue this knowledge, uh, this education for agriculture? Well, agriculture is our number one industry in South Carolina, as you well know, probably. And, um, you know, I think that it's really important that our next generation embrace um, the challenge, the, the study of agriculture so that they can solve, you know, the challenges that we're going to face with um, sustainability and um, conservation issues. So these are very, you know, some of our best and brightest students. They are taught at the, the honors level, mm -hmm. just like all the governor's schools. And, um, you know, I think that they're going to do amazing things. We have some really brilliant students. So. Okay, we're wishing them the best. Stacy. let's go over the details and where people need to go for more information. Sure. And is there a deadline to register for the event? Um, we are taking registration this entire week all the way through Friday. You can go to eventbrite.com and look for activities going on in Edgefield, South Carolina. You'll find clay shoot for the governor's school. All right, first so annual sporting clay shoot. Again, that's going to be this Saturday from 3 until 8. Eventbrite.com is where you get the info. Uh, Stacy Smith, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank Check you.